Hey there, good morning everyone. Friday the 10th of September 2021. This morning's devotion is a reading from John chapter 15 verse 12 which reads, My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Dr. Helen Rosefer was down at the brick kiln training a team of workers to make bricks when a nurse came and said she was needed for an emergency surgery. Her hands were sore and bleeding from the brickwork. She scrubbed up to deliver the baby by cesarean section in a simple hospital. As the nurse poured antiseptic alcohol over her raw wounds, anger welled up inside her and she cried inwardly to God. God, this is so stupid. I wanted to be a doctor to help people. Why can't you send somebody else to the Congo to do the building? Later, as she joined the African team who ran the hospital with her for the weekly prayer meeting, she asked them to pray for her anger at the way God was doing things. Doctor, one of them, replied, Don't you realize that when you are being a doctor with a white coat on and a stethoscope around your neck, we are scared of you. But when you're down at the brick kiln talking with us in our tribal language, and your hands are sore and bleeding like ours are, that's when we listen to you telling us about the love of Jesus. Scriptures remind us in 1 John chapter 3, verse 18, Dear children, let us not merely say that we love each other, let us show the truth by our actions. My dear friends, the opportunity to love that is presented to you and me today might not be what we expect. Will we say yes to getting our hands dirty? I don't know. This is a terribly big challenge for many of us because it moves us out of our comfort zones. This weekend we have, we have our Alpha Holy Spirit weekend which we are doing online via Zoom for the youth. And so this, starting this evening at 6 o'clock we begin our Holy Spirit weekend. So it's this evening at 6 tomorrow morning at 10 and then again at noon and then again on Sunday evening. I ask for your prayers for the team, for the participants, that they would allow God to minister to them, that they would live life to the fullest through Jesus Christ. My dear friends, may the Lord be with you, may he bless you, may he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.